Let me show you the fastest way to complete the mandatory Kuiper Eco setups. First, head over to the prep screen. Here you have four sections. The only three sections you need to have a look at are the approach vehicle, equipment and weapon loadout. The disruption section is unnecessary. Here you have three options. The first option is the weapons. All this does is the weapons used by El Rubio security guards will be weakened during the heist. Same idea applies to the armor option and for the air support you can turn this off. Since you're going to do this in complete stealth mode, you don't need any of this. First, you got the weapon loadout. Because you're doing this in stealth mode, make sure to buy the suppressor no matter which class you choose. This will cost you 5k in total. I recommend choosing the aggressor on conspirator the others might be worse for the final heist. Once you've started it, on the bottom you will see that you got Meriwether HQ. You never want to go to this location. You will need to follow a helicopter all the way to the destination and this is going to take a long time. So what do you do now? Behind me over here you have two seats. Here you can access the guided missiles. You do need to buy this as an upgrade for your Kosatka. This is pretty expensive, to be exact 1.9 million dollars, but long term it is definitely worth it, saving you a lot of time. Now over here, go to one of the two seats and launch the missile. You need to aim for this building, right over here, you will see a helicopter on the rooftop, simply destroy it and the prep will fail. This allows you to start the setup again and as you can see, it now says go to the Panras building. If you haven't yet, make sure to fast travel to Vespucci beach. Now take your oppressor mark 2 or sparrow, it's up to you and fly to the building. Make sure to land on the rooftop so you can do this in stealth which is the fastest way. Land safely over here. Now follow along, use a suppressed weapon and kill this guy first. You want to first shoot a bullet to open the door and then with your second bullet kill him. This guy on the right entrance you can completely ignore. Head in this direction, kill these two people and behind the desk this guy and that's it. Now open the gun locker, hack the laptop, collect the weapons and make sure to exit to the roof again. And that's it. Simply fly back to your Kosatka and you completed this setup. Now moving on to the equipment section. You have four options over here. The demolition charges you can avoid. The ones you will have to do are the safe code, fingerprint cloner and the cutting torch. You might have the plasma cutter option instead of the safe code. This is because I got the bearer bonds. I'll also show you how to do the plasma cutter in a moment. Let's first start with the safe code. You will only get this option if you have the barrel bonds as the primary target. I recommend doing all the setups with your oppressor mark 2, but if you don't own it, the sparrow will do the job as well, but just a bit slower. When flying to the casino, make sure that these two wings of your oppressor are inside. You do this by pressing the button the way you jump in GTA. So on PC for me, this would be the space bar. This will change the speed from 108 miles per hour to 130 miles per hour, which will speed up the process a lot. Once you've entered the casino, go directly in first person mode up the elevator over here. Now search for the guards. If it isn't on this side, you have to go back and check the other side. But once you've found them, kill the two guards over here silently to avoid alerting the remaining guards inside the penthouse. When entering the penthouse, make sure that you don't have your gun in your hand and aren't in stealth mode. This way, no one gets alerted inside. Now run with no guns in your hand all the way to the back where the head of the security is located. Take him out and collect the safe code as fast as you can. Once you've collected it, Take your RPG or anything that will kill you fast and blow yourself up. This will speed up the process 
and complete the safe coat prep in no time. I recommend doing this as the last prep so you can join a new session and spawn back directly in your Kasatka to start the final heist. For the plasma cutter, you will have to do the setup if you have the tequila, ruby necklace, pink diamond or panther statue as the primary target. When you start the plasma cutter prep, fly to the safe house. This is in fact the easiest setup to do. Simply once you've entered the safe house, immediately take out your phone and take a picture. You actually don't need to go all the way to the planning board and take your picture over there. You can do this directly when you enter the safe house, which will save you a lot of time. Now send your picture to Pavel and exit the building. Go back on your oppressor or sparrow and move on to Rockford Hills. Over here, simply blow everything up. If you're on your oppressor mark 2, you don't have to exit your vehicle. Simply fly over the green bag located on your map and head back with the plasma cutter to your submarine. Next, the fingerprint cloner. For this prep, you need to go to the warehouse. Land right in front of the yellow mark with your oppressor and take out your assault shotgun. When entering the building, inside a few enemies will be waiting on you. Simply take them down, hack the laptop and after completion, fly to the next location. This is the second place. Don't worry about the cameras, you will not alert anyone inside. Simply run to this place all the way in the back to collect the fingerprint cloner. And then exit the building. Be careful over here for the enemies that are coming towards you. Just take your oppressor and fly back to your Kosetka. Now the last one for the equipment preps is the cutting torch. Get back on your oppressor and fly to the construction site. Once you're here, don't kill anyone. If you have the same location, land over here out of the enemies they're fishing and go to the yellow helmet. For some reason you can't pick it up instantly so you will have to run in a circle before picking up the helmet. Doing this will let you blend in with the construction workers so you won't get detected. Now check all the boxes with the green arrows until you find the blue cutting torch. Once you found it, grab it and while you're going back to your oppressor mark 2, make sure not to run into any guards, else they will be alerted. Now fly back to your Kosatka and that's it for the cutting torch. For the approach vehicles, you're going to choose the Kosatka. If you came here with your oppressor mark 2, make sure to return that to your storage first to avoid destruction. Now go over here and you want to fast travel to the closest location where the marker is. Now don't exit yet, you're going to drive the submarine. Go in a straight line towards the yellow dot on your map. Don't worry about the boats and helicopter. Trying to kill these enemies is a waste of time. When you see the yellow area show up on your map, you want to go underwater. Once you're close enough to the other submarine, take this exact route. You're not going to exit the usual way, you're going down over here. This is the fastest way to exit your Kasatka and enter the other submarine. Once you're in here, I recommend using your assault shotgun since it's a great weapon for close range. Over here, you need to steal the sonar jammer and I don't know what the f*** my character is doing over here. There are two locations where the sonar jammer could be located. I will show them right now on the screen. The first one is on the other side of the submarine in this room. Be careful, don't run for the sonar jammer straight away since there's a guy around the corner. The second location is at the planning room and the third location is the one where I got it, is right over here. Once you guys found yours, exit the submarine and swim back to your cassette from the bottom. There you go, you've completed all these setups, but now you need to start the final heist. To do that, 
the fastest way possible, check out this video.